welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog i'm super excited to be vlogging today it is my first time vlogging since being back from la but today i'm actually preparing for another trip we are going to ibiza tomorrow and then to barcelona we're away for six days so three days in ibiza and three days in barcelona and the reason we're going to ibiza is very exciting so we have decided to do our wedding this summer hopefully in june and hopefully in ibiza so we're going there to look at potential venues to have the wedding in and our dream would be to do it in a villa that we could also stay in and have some of our friends stay in as well that would be optimal but of course it has to have like enough space to host a ceremony and a wedding dinner and like a dancing part where we could do a little party afterwards so i will take you guys along on this entire journey of planning our wedding and it starts with finding a venue <laughs> a little tricky part about this trip is that we can only take carry-on luggage because our flights between barcelona and ibiza are very quick um, we basically have to just get off the plane and run to the second plane with all of our bags otherwise we won't make it because we booked from here to barcelona and then barcelona ibiza ibiza barcelona and then barcelona back home but i still want to have enough clothes and outfits and things that i feel you know nice and like comfortable when we're away so the goal for today is to pack and to pack very smartly and very tightly so that everything can really fit in my carry-on and if it doesn't i might sneak some things into mo's carry-on but let's hope that it does so before we go on a shorter trip or trips where i know i have specific events i like to make my outfits beforehand and just take a quick picture this way i feel really organized and i'm not bringing things that you know i won't wear so this is very helpful and something i would definitely recommend doing so after i make all the outfits i put the clothes here on my rack to make sure that I don't forget anything and it's just very easy to see. So I'm bringing a blue pair of jeans and then these are the tops that I want to wear with these jeans. And then I'm also bringing a white pair of jeans and then these are the tops that I will style with these jeans. And of course I can always mix and match. And then for shoes, I'm just bringing a pair of white sneakers and these beautiful new heels that I got recently from Zara. They are so pretty and I love that the heel is not too high. So it's a nice kind of day shoe that you can wear with denim or with white jeans will look really good as well. And these are some of the other things that I have to bring with me. So all of this plus all of that <laughs> and those shoes need to fit in these two suitcases or bags. I really hope that this is going to work, but if not, I'll have to make some adjustments. But that is the goal. Having these packing cubes really helps with space as well because it kind of compresses everything. So here I already have my workout clothes. I've got a pair of leggings, a sports bra top, a sweater, and these are my white APL sneakers. And this is packed pretty tight, so this really helps. I've got my underwear, socks, and sleeping things in this one. I'm gonna take my beige Chanel handbag. This is gonna go with all of the outfits. And then these are my beauty products and makeup. I love that pretty much everything I'm using these days is clean. I recently did a video on my clean, non-toxic makeup look. I will have that linked for you guys below. And these products are all so amazing. So happy with these. And then here I have my brushes. I get this on Amazon. I will also have that linked below. And of course, it zips up. And in this bag, I'm going to put all of my skincare. And I've put a lot of them into these mini travel sized tubes and jars. And then I just use my Dymo and I make a label for them. So this is my face wash. I've got my eye makeup remover, my cellar water. This is my serum, my moisturizer. And here I have to put my SPF. So I still have to fill that one. I've got a sample here of some shampoo and conditioner. I think I'm only going to wash my hair once next week. So um, I only need this much. I've also got my glasses. These are some electronics. My contact lens solution, toothpaste, contact...
Okay, so pretty much all of my outfits fit into this packing cube. And what's really great about this one is that it has a second zipper here that you can close. So this is actually a compression uh, packing cube. So you can really get all of the air out. I use these every single time I travel and they just make such a difference. There you go. I'm leaving these things for tomorrow when we fly. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear this white shirt and these blue jeans, my white sneakers, my bag. So now it's the real test. Let's see if everything fits. Oh my God. Wow, I am I'm shocked. That is incredible. So I'm gonna fit my curling wand in there too. So let's go get that. Wow, I'm just genuinely shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked that I was able to fit everything in a carry-on. That's amazing. And I still have all of this space. There's just no better feeling than traveling and knowing that you have everything and that it's organized. It just takes a lot of the stress from traveling away, especially when you know what you're also wearing and that you have outfits for everything. And again, we're going for six days, which is almost a week. And usually for that amount of time, I would pack my normal suitcase, my big suitcase. It feels really nice and lightweight and just prepared. Um, so I'm not bringing a bunch of things that I know I won't be wearing. So very proud of this. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is the next day. We are ready to leave. Are we Super going? excited. <clears throat> Where are we going? Ibiza. And then? Barcelona. Yeah. This is my outfit today. This is actually one of the looks that I want to wear when we're away, but I just put on um, the sweater on top because it's still obviously quite cold here. So yeah, very comfy. Good morning from Ibiza. This is our view from our hotel room. So beautiful. Love all the palm trees. There's a pool there. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day today. It was a bit cloudy earlier, but now it's cleared up. It's so pretty. So, good morning guys. It is our first full day here in Ibiza and we're super excited to be here and today we have a few exciting meetings. We're seeing our first villa today and we also have a meeting with a catering company and also a cake testing. And then tomorrow we're seeing another, I think, four villas and we also have a meeting with our decor company who's going to do all of our flowers and we're also meeting with our wedding planner as well. So very exciting day. We wanted to go on a hike this morning, but the weather was not the best. It was even raining a little bit, so we thought better save that for tomorrow. So I've had a nice kind of slower morning. I've gotten myself ready. So I'm wearing this white um, lacy floral top that I actually got years ago from H&M. I also have it in pink. I also have it on with some white jeans, so I'm really getting into the bridal theme. I also wanted to show you guys these two new necklaces that I got from Misoma that I love so much. I think they're so cool and I believe this is from their newer collection so it just came out and then this is from their staple collection. I just love how um, like dainty and fine this one is and then this one is a little bit more chunky but not you know too much it's not like too heavy or uncomfortable or anything like that i just love layering um gold necklaces like this so yeah i'll make sure to have these linked below for you guys if you want to check them out as well nobody told me to settle down day nights and late nights don't get around but there's something about you something about you i like about you i like so now we are on our way to our cake tasting appointment with one of the two companies that we're thinking of um, 
having our wedding cake made with. So, what's your update so far? The almond with the buttercream. Delicious. And now we're tasting lemon puffy. Lemon and puffy seed with local organic lemon curd. <laughs> Hard job here. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> having a very hard job. <laughs> My favorite thing so far. <laughs> Oh no, do we have a new, a new contender? Alright guys, so we are now sitting down to eat some late lunch, early dinner. So we had the cake tasting which went really well and then we went to go see a villa that was not our favorite villa. Not at all. No. So didn't get any shots of that but um, tomorrow we're seeing a few and also on Tuesday so hopefully one of those will be good. We're now at a hotel called Atsaro and we're sitting down here we're waiting for our food. Alright our food has just arrived. It looks so good. This is a kale salad and Mo got a Caesar salad. Yum. And this is my main course. I ordered the salmon with vegetables. Looks really nice. And this is Mo's. I ordered the free range chicken. I think there's also some veggies on there. Looks really good. Yeah, so nice and colorful. So cute. Look how pretty the sky is. Good morning guys, it is the next day and I've just gotten myself ready. Wanted to show you my outfit quickly before we leave. So this shirt is new from Zara. It's kind of like a leather type of shirt, oversized. I'm not sure what the material is, it's not real leather, but kind of has that look to it and it also cinches in here at the waist, which I love. And I've just got on a little top underneath because it is a bit chilly outside. Then I've got on my white jeans um, from Frame. These are the same ones I wore yesterday. My shoes from Keds. I wanted to wear those heels that I showed you guys earlier, but I unfortunately still have a pretty bad blister on this foot right here from a pair of boots that I wore um, like a few days ago and the blister is still there. So going with the white sneakers and I've put my hair up in a low bun and we are ready to go. We just left a villa that we really, really love. It's kind of on the top of uh, a hill, so it has a really nice view, and it's just surrounded by nature, and it's really, really stunning, but 
it is so windy today it's unbelievable like it's crazy windy so it was a bit difficult to film in there and just to show you guys around plus it is the winter season here so the house is not like done up you know how it's going to be finally so we have a few other villas to see um, before we make our final decision we also have a meeting with our decorator today they're the ones who are going to be doing all the flowers the decor the lights and all of that um, so that is really exciting as well and then we have another cake tasting with um, another company. And um, yeah, it should be a good day. So this is our second cake tasting session with a different company. These look amazing. So I'm gonna try the chocolate now, okay? Should definitely go for this one, maybe. But I think this is more classic for a wedding. Vanilla is nice, but like lemon definitely out. Um, I like chocolate because most of people like chocolate. Have you tasted the vanilla one? I tasted it. It's also good. Oh, but I didn't see the... Hmm. Did you get some of the middle? Mm -mm. Yeah, maybe I should. Alright, so we are done with all of our meetings for today. We just finished up with um, our wedding planner. We had a meeting with the design, like with the decorator who does all the flowers and the tables and she's gonna do the ceremony, um, archway and all of that. It's really nice, um, to be honest, to see um, the, the makeup uh, of, a, of, an, of a wedding, you know? When I heard the first time we are doing a wedding, I was thinking, we're doing a wedding, you know? What is about it? But what goes into a wedding is so insanely intense, so there's so many different layers. And we wanna have as little to worry about on the actual day totally. as possible, which is why we wanted to have a wedding planner so she could help us and just take some of that stress away and help us with like decor ideas and you know just like the program the itinerary and all of that so anyway once we have more developments and I have more like things to share I will definitely do that with you guys but for now I think we're at a really good point plus the last villa that we saw not the one that I um, talk to you guys about but the one after that we really really love so I think we're gonna go for that one we still have two more that we're gonna see tomorrow but so far I really like the second one good morning guys it is Tuesday today it's our last day here in Ibiza and we are now going on a hike to um, a beautiful viewpoint overlooking Esvedra. It's not the weather is not that good so yeah normally... as you can see I'm wearing like all my sweaters yeah. and my jackets because it's pretty cold still. I mean the view and the scenery is much nicer if it's obviously warm and cozy. Wow So guys, we're standing here at uh, this wonderful place where I, um, where I basically said goodbye to my dad um, 10 years ago. I still remember my friends telling me, hey, let's go to Ibiza, let's get a different mind, think about something else. And then we came here to this beautiful island uh, and I fell in love from the first time. Ibiza, it was my island. Uh, I still remember uh, the vibe here, the people, everyone has been so nice. And then we came here to Esvedra. I was sitting exactly there where I was sitting before. And um, I said goodbye to my dad. The first time I could really say goodbye. Now I'm standing back here 10 years later. And it's just such a special place for me. I feel very good right now. Yeah, and um, this is our view. Is, this is the view and it looks it looks really nice. Hello guys, we are back. 
back home in our apartment and I just wanted to wrap up this vlog and just kind of update you a little bit on what happened in Ibiza and also um, we did go to Barcelona for a few days after Ibiza and we spent some really nice time with my family so very exciting we did find a villa that we've now booked so that is all set so now we can really start planning and we know you know all the spaces in the villa so we can get really creative with decor and with table settings and all of that and you know just like plan out where the ceremony is going to be so that's really great and now we're also awaiting quotes from the different catering companies that we met with and the wedding cake company as well so we have to move pretty fast because it is you know coming up very soon like in three months now we also have to start looking into entertainment for the wedding if we want to have like a dj and a singer and also of course the wedding dress which i will also um take you guys along with me for the journey of finding that i do have some inspirations that i can just kind of pop up here on the screen this is the kind of style that i like so very romantic quite fitted but has like a nice train in the back um a little bit lacy and maybe some nice like embellishments on it so yeah that is i think one of the most exciting things about planning a wedding so yeah so far so good i want to do a giveaway for you guys as well before i end this vlog so i will have two different giveaways this is the first bundle of things that you can win this is package number one and this is package number two so lots of great new beauty products and makeup items and of course it's always so easy to enter my giveaways all you have to do is leave a comment under the photo that is linked below in the description box and you can leave me any comment that you like and also make sure to leave um, which package you would want so either package number one or number two and then in about a week or so i'll contact you on instagram you can send me your address and i will send you your gift i hope you're all having a beautiful day and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one